Cheeto Mercado, big fight coming up against Jason Velez, big step up fight. Talk a little bit about the preparation going into this fight. This this uh this fight's been a little bit different on you know sparring. We've been getting a lot better sparring partners because we know Jason Velez got a lot of experience. So you know as far as that, this part's been one of my my best training camps so far with you know the experience I've got in sparring and and uh, the stuff that we've been practicing to to utilize on Jason Velez. So so far the man's been great. Now this fight is for the NABA silver title at 140 pounds. Talk about fighting for your first uh, belt. Man, it means a lot to me. I'm, I'm excited, to be honest. You know, I think that fight, you know, getting that strap is going to put a lot of people on notice, you know, with the big dogs, with the, you know, Gervonta. It's going to put me in those in that category with them. Now, all your fights uh, have been in the States as opposed to some of these guys who built up the records in Mexico. Talk a, bit, a little bit about, you know, building up your brand in SoCal and what that means to you to fight in the States. I mean, it means a lot to me, man, especially be to fight right here in SoCal. You know, right here, my next fight is going to be in Ontario, where, where a lot of my people is going to be at. So just to get that support, not only just build a fan base, but to get that support every fight, knowing that, you know, I have my people there and I got to perform and do extra. You know, it means a lot to me. And I'm, and I'm always, uh, I think that motivates me a lot. But, yeah. But. No, no, go ahead. Now, now you're 7-0, seven, oh, seven knockouts. I mean, your power is immense. Talk about, you know, that aspect of your, of your attributes, your toolbox. Uh, it was just, uh, I guess it was something my, my dad probably passed down to me. You know, uh, a lot of fighters they don't have uh, power in this in this era of boxing, and I think that's what that's what boxing is missing right now. Uh, a fighter that's explosive, that's exciting, but knows how to box. It doesn't put people to sleep, and I think that's something that I got. I got something that's gonna entertain everybody, whether it's with my ring walks or my knockouts. Now you had close to 300 amateur fights. Uh, talk a little bit about your stellar amateur career and how it transitioned to the pros. Man, it's a it's actually a big big component of why I'm being so successful right now. I think a lot of people now they, they take that for granted. They go 10, 15 amateur fights and they go to Mexico, build a record up and come over here and they notice that's a big difference. You know, with all that experience I've got, I've seen a lot of different looks, I've seen a lot of different styles and I'm able to adapt real quickly in the ring. Now you said your dad's your trainer. Talk a little bit about that relationship with you and your pops. Man, it's just, it's uh, it's easy in the ring. You know, whenever he tells me something, I kind of it kind of already, you know, just clicks with me right away. And even when I'm doing something in the ring and I don't have time to get to the corner, obviously I'm in the ring. I kind of figure what he's going to say and I kind of just make those adjustments on my own. With the, like, it's like his voice is already in my head. Now we're in this gym. It's got an old school feel. Uh, talk about, you know, when you first started boxing, how you came up and, you know, where you're at right now. Yeah, so I started boxing at the age of four. Initially, it was because of my father. He started training my uncle, and I kind of just, you know, kind of got intrigued by it at a young age, which is, you know, kind of rare. You know, a lot of a lot of fighters they usually have the stories of their father bringing them into it, but I kind of threw myself into it, and, and I fell in love with it ever since, man. And we're doing big things right now, seven no seven knockouts. Okay, this Saturday's the big fight. What can the fans expect from you in this fight? Man, I expect another, you know, explosive night. Uh, I'm gonna go in there with a lot of speed, a lot of power, but a lot of boxing abilities that a lot of fighters don't have. All three of those. And I'm going to go out there and then uh, show the world why Tino Mercado is a, is a force to be reckoned with. Last question. If there's one name right now that you would want to fight, who's that guy? Oh, uh, you got to give me Shakur Stevenson. I want him right now. Why is that? I mean, he claims he's the best fighter. You know, he uh, he also down talks a lot of good fighters. Like, you know, say he'll beat up Canelo. You say he'll beat up a lot of these top fighters. And I want to show him that why he's not why he's not what he says he is. Thank you, Tito. All right, back with Tito. Let's just talk about Velez. What, what do you think of him as a fighter? It's a, it's a big step up. You know, this is only your eighth pro fight and you're, you're stepping up uh, against a top level guy. Just talk about him as a fighter. I mean, he has a lot of experience. You know, he definitely has power in his hands. I think he has over a little bit, around 20 knockouts. And, you know, he's fought a lot of good fighters like Ryan Garcia, Joseph Diaz Jr. And he went the distance with a lot of them, and if not, to the final bell with them. So, you know, it, it shows a lot on how much heart he got. And, um, I mean, he's been at that level, so I definitely Hope to steal that experience with him when I fight on October 22nd. Okay, I'm gonna go. Just, I'm just gonna go through a list of names. I'm gonna say the name, and you just let me know what you think of that fighter. Okay, first name Shakur Stevens. Uh, no power, no power. Uh, big mouth. Devin Haney. Warren. Javante Davis. Power, but he's too little. Isaac Cruz. Man, that's a little, a little rugged little guy. That's what I think. Of Ryan Garcia. Uh, Instagram boxing. Now talk about the whole lightweight and super light division. What do you think about that division, being that you're going to either campaign at 35 or 140? I think a lot of them, I mean, it's a lot of talent there, man. It's, I mean, it's one of the most blowed up divisions for a reason right now. And I don't think there's ever been a time where lightweights, 
and super lightweights have been taking it's stealing the show in a sense you know the you know uh, in the past we had a lot of welterweights that were really stealing the show or heavyweights but now it's kind of the lightweights the spotlights on them so you know definitely me beating one of them or you know you know showing a statement against one of them obviously is gonna is gonna bring a lot of spotlight to me and, and show the world who really Tino Mercado is. Now you're Mexican and Nicaraguan talk about your heritage. Oh man yeah my uh, my father's actually born in Managua Nicaragua and I've been out there a couple times and also was going to represent them for Nicaragua for the Olympics and uh, it's just dope man you know and also my mom's from San Miguel Mexico so you know just have those two backgrounds that you know obviously love boxing a lot I feel like you know once they start to see me more and more they, I'll be able to get the support from them and I, and I know that uh, I'll do right by uh, representing them. Uh, is your plan to be the next Latin star and if it is talk about how you're going to get there. Of course, man, you know, I think that's uh, to be loved by your people and, and to be, you know, somebody that they look up to is always something, you know, uh, motivating. But, you know, as far as that, you know, I just want to go out there and, and beat the best fighters the way you're supposed to do it. Not whether by talking so much, I want to go out there and beat the best fighters and that's how I'm going to become the superstar uh, for my people. Where can people find you on social media? You can find, follow me on all social medias at Real Tito Mercado. Thank you, sir.